the Exit Austrian Grand Prix preview. I know the race has already started, but I haven't watched any of it yet, and let's just get into it. Uh, last week, same circuit, uh, but the, um, that should not say French, that should say uh, Steering Grand Prix, um, pretty uneventful, Max Verstappen ran away with it right from the beginning, um, had pole position, and just really, uh, no one really stood a chance for first place. Uh, Hamilton tried, um, but just couldn't keep up with him. Hamilton got second here, and then uh, also picked up fastest lap right at the end. Uh, two laps left, pick up fastest lap, good for him. Uh, really good lap for him, but he, he just couldn't keep up with Verstappen the rest of the race. Uh, but Perez uh, got fourth, Botas third. Perez half a lap from passing Botas, uh, maybe even less. It was great to see him just flying around the track at the end there. Uh, let's see what happens this this uh, week. We'll get into qualifying in a little bit. Um, but great race from Perez as well. Just couldn't catch Botas at the last second. That would have been great to see. It was amazing to watch him come back. Uh, Gasly getting screwed uh, right from the beginning. Um, he was had he had a great qualifying, and he's had so many great races this year. Just um, got screwed right from the beginning. Punctured tire. Um, destroyed the car was out right at the first lap it was really sad to see um uh, let's go over the results first quick to um perez again fourth lando norris fifth carlos Sainz sixth leclerc seventh stroll eighth fernando lazo ninth and sonoda tenth uh he also they also had a great race um all the guys down at the bottom the fight for uh sixth place was great uh you just see all those cars in a row fighting Fighting against each other was is great. That was really the most interesting part of the race is watching all those guys go back and forth. Um, also, Leclerc, uh, flat tire right on the first lap, had to fight all the way back through the pack to try to get up there. Um, he is my driver of the, the race. Um, he did he did a great job fighting back through and, and ending up getting seventh place. Um, Ferrari picking up some more points than Leclerc in this race. It was great to see that again. Uh, really great battle. Norris had a great race as well on uh, fifth. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what the what uh, changes the teams make uh, for the same circuit uh, next or this week at this race. So drivers championships right now. Max Verstappen with the win uh, stays in first place. 156 points for him. Uh, Hamilton in second with 138. Perez in third with 96 points. Norris in fourth, staying in fourth with 86 points. Botas stays in fifth with 74. Leclerc stays in sixth with 58. Sainz in seventh with 50. Gasly in eighth with 37. Ricardo uh, in ninth with 34. Vettel in tenth with 30. Alonso in eleventh with 19. Stroll in twelfth with 14. Akan in thirteenth with 12. Sonoda in fourteenth with nine points. Uh, Raikkonen in fifteen. Uh, with one point, and Giovinazzi in 16th with one point. Russell, Schumacher, Mazepin, and Latifi, the Williams, and the Haas is still with no points so far this season. Uh, Constructor Championships, Red Bull stays in first um, with 252 points. Mercedes in second with 212 points. McLaren staying in third with 220. Ferrari gained a little on them with their... Uh, better results this last race they're in fourth with 108 points still a good battle there let's see uh ferrari can do anything to stay on it uh alpha tori in fifth with 46 aston martin gained a little bit uh still in sixth with 44 points alpine in seventh with 31 all those three teams could still end up getting fifth place it's, it's a great battle there let's see what happens uh alpha romeo in eighth with two points on uh, haas and williams ninth and tenth uh with zero points I don't think we're going to see any points from Haas this year, but Williams, I think, could get up to eighth passing Alfa Romeo. Um, you know, Russell, this last race, had a great race, and then the car just died. Um, and then, as we can see with qualifying, uh, George Russell and the Williams uh, qualified ninth. First Q3 for Williams since 2018. Uh, we'll get a bit more of that. Uh, Verstappen is going to sit on pole with the fastest uh, qualifying time, Norris in second, his first top row uh, in the McLaren. He did great. He is not in the Mercedes, he's in the McLaren. 
uh, but only four thousandths behind Verstappen. He had a great qualifying. Uh, it's going to be he, that car looked fast all weekend, and even last week it looked fast. So it's great to see him going great. These two guys, uh, very young and going to be battling out. Hopefully that uh, McLaren uh, does get a little bit of work done and actually can fight with the Red Bull and Mercedes, but it'll be great to see what happens here. Perez in third, so Red Bull first and third here. Um, let's see how that plays out. Uh, Lewis Hamilton in fourth, Botas in fifth, Gasly sixth, Sonoda seventh, Vettel qualified eighth. We'll go to that in a second. Uh, Russell again ninth, and Lance Stroll tenth. Um, all the times were faster this week. Uh, it is warmer, so that probably played a part of it. But the teams also, you get th two weeks at the same track, and they get to tune the car and, and find out what they could have done better from last week. Uh, Norris, again, his first front row. And again, Williams, in uh, George Russell, n qualified ninth. Williams' first Q3 since 2018. He is looking great these past two weeks. Again, mechanical failure. Knocked him out last week, but he had a great weekend. Uh, looked great on Saturday. Let's see if that carries over. Uh, Vettel uh, qualified eighth, but uh, he did get in Alonso's way. Uh, he's going to get a three-position penalty, so he's going down to 11th, and Sainz is going to be in 10th. And that was during Q2, so um, let's see how that affects Alonso, because he, he probably could have made Q3 if uh, Vettel did not get in his way. And then uh, a lot of orange, and uh, Norris, uh, very funny, says, great to see all the orange here for uh, McLaren, not for Verstappen, obviously. Uh, Verstappen, very popular there. You can hear the cheers. Um, he uh, has a lot of fans there today, uh, this weekend. Again, same track as last week. Um, a lot of elevation changes, but uh, three DRS zones, fast, not a lot of turns, uh, short track. Really nice. And then we're off for two weeks. Great Brand Grand Prix uh, is July 18th. Uh, it's at Silverstone in two weeks. Uh, you know, if Russell does good this um, in the Austrian Grand Prix, do they go to him? Uh, does Mercedes bring him up for the Grand uh, Great Britain Grand Prix? You know, two British drivers riding in, driving the Mercedes. We'll see. I, I doubt it. But if it happens, it'll be this race. Uh and Austria has 10 turns, and you can see here Silverstone, 18 turns. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And uh, just some other news, uh, Hamilton just signed a two-year contract uh, renewal with Mercedes, and that lines up with Mersap, uh, Verstappen's two-year contract, two more years with Red Bull. So uh, contract's up. What, does Verstappen go to Mercedes? We'll see. Uh, so for the race, uh, I think uh, we're going to have... Uh, Verstappen first, Perez second, and uh, Hamilton third for this race. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the race.